Uh, this is day two. Um, no, this is day three of me with natural hair, no relaxer. And let me tell you, I have gone through every emotion humanly possible. First, there was sheer excitement and joy, freedom. I was like, yes, no relaxer, my own hair. I've been waiting for this for six months. And then after I cut it, um, mind you, I had it all twisted up or something. I don't know what I had done to it, but um, it looked very uneven because even though it was unrelaxed, some parts were straight because I, it was in a, like a twist out form, and then the others was really, uh, I had a lot of shrinkage in the front. And so I, I ain't going to post no picture of that. I took a picture of my own personal record, <laughs> but I'm not going to post it. Anyway, for everyone who has done the big job and has gotten discouraged, this video is for you. Uh, this, again, is day three, and um, I found out that my hair texture is a very beautiful texture. It's a very tight curl. It's a 4A, and it's a perfect spiral in the back. In the front, right up here, where I used to put, you know how you put the relaxer, um, because the hair is fine, or maybe the relaxer damaged the curl pattern, but it's a lot looser and more random up here. But um, on the sides and in the back, I have a perfect 4A spiral. As a matter of fact, I clipped a little bit out of the back just so I could see what I was feeling. You know how you feel the texture? And it feels so good. It's like, i got to see this curl. And, and just like I thought, it was a perfect spiral. But anyway, um, that curl is very tiny. And I don't know how to define that curl because it's so tiny. I don't have a three hair type. My hair type is 4A, I think, 4A, because it's not a Z pattern. It's a perfect spiral. I mean, you could put that thing under the bed and it would spring the mattress up. You know, it's <laughs> a perfect little spring. But, um... Oh, God. Yeah, because it has such a tiny curl, um, they don't define very easily, and uh, it makes my hair look like, um, for lack of a better word, word, like a cotton ball or a, a sort of woolly. You know what I mean? It looks bad. And so I got really discouraged because, first of all, I didn't know what I was doing. I put, I tried to follow somebody's video. This girl put these special products on her hair, and then she followed up with gel, and then she rotated her hands around, and then her little curls started to form, and then she took her fingers and did the little, you know, define your curls, and she defined her little curls, and little curls popping out all over her head, and oh my God, that did not happen for me. I didn't have that, I don't have that kind of hair texture, so <laughs> it was very disappointing. Every time I would put a product on my hair, my hair would shrink down to my head, um, because I, you know, they're water-based, so the water causes shrinkage, blah, 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 blah. And the only thing that absorbed right into my hair I tried was the Carol's Daughter hair milk. And I don't necessarily like Carol's Daughter stuff. I just had some left over from, you know, when I was all into her. But um, then I realized, oh, okay, so here's a tip for you. When you want to apply gel to your hair, because I have a lot of flakes in my hair now just because I refuse to wash it again. I washed it twice in one day. I didn't want to dry out my scalp. The weather is cold. But the tip is, if you're going to apply gel to your hair, if you're going to moisturize it first, Oh my God. If you're going to moisturize it first, then you need to be sure that the moisturizer that you use is um, going to absorb right into your hair. In other words, make sure it doesn't have any petroleum or mineral oil in it because those things coat the hair. It does not absorb, so they sit right on the surface of the hair and mix with the gel and form a gray film that then later becomes flakes. You don't want that. Trust me, you don't want that. It looks like you got dandruff. It looks like I got dandruff on this whole side of my head. Um, and anyway, oh yeah, yeah, you're probably looking at my hair and saying, your hair, I can see curls. Let me tell you how I got these curls, okay? First of all, my first Big Shot video, um, someone had a question as to how I got that look. And that was because I did a two-strand flat road twist. I did four road or flat road all the way back on my hair. And that lasted for about, about eight hours. <laughs> and then... <laughs> I guess it depends on the weather, but the, the air here is dry, there's no humidity. But that, it started to shrink up, oh my god, and it just, it turns to a puff, and ain't nothing wrong with a puff if your puff is even, but see, my puff is even, but anyway, I'm going to cut my hair myself. So, last night, and then check this out, I had to go out of town to a funeral, and all the old people in my family were there, and they're so used to me having long hair, and I was expecting the worst, but nobody really said anything, nobody said anything, I know they were thinking it, but nobody said anything, but I had cut all my hair off, nobody said anything. You know how you don't care what people think, but at the same time they it's your grandmama, your aunts and stuff. And, oh God, nobody said anything. My uncle did. My uncle was like, "You cut your hair," and you can tell the child is. Anyway, anyway. But um, so because my little twist, twist out didn't work too well, didn't last very long. Maybe
maybe I need to put some product on there that I didn't know about because there's a lot of products that I just don't know about. Anyway, I tried something different. Last night I took about three hours and rotted my hair. I rotted it all over. Oh, Lord. I'm going to let you see a little bit of the curl definition. But yeah, because I wanted curls. I was tired of having just this raggedy. And the thing about it, my hair dried plenty because I didn't know the right product to do it. I didn't have a good moisturizer. I put um, some oil-based moisturizer on there, which sits on the surface of the hair. And I put something else, but it just didn't work out right. It dried all wrong. It was crispy. But now, I know how to moisturize the hair. So, you learn something every day. Don't give up. Oh, I tried to punk out, y'all. And I was getting ready to go to the country to... Um, the funeral where my grandma was going to be, I was going to punk out and you <laughs> put my wig on, Sasha. <laughs> I was going to put Sasha on. <laughs> and you know what? My natural hair has quite a presence because I was not comfortable in that wig. No matter how much I tried to convince myself I'm just going to do this just this once or just until I get used to my hair, I couldn't wear it. I couldn't wear it. My heart just was like, no, take this off. Wear your natural hair. Commit to it. So I want to encourage you, commit to it. You gotta, it's going to take some time. No matter how many videos, because I do research. No matter how much research you do, it's going to take time for you to learn your own natural hair. Um, I love the way I look today. I don't know how long this style is going to last. I'm definitely not going to spend another three hours um, riding it So until at least next week. So if I have to do that once a week until my hair grows a little longer, I can do that. You know what I mean? Um, but in the meantime, you know, get, get a professional cut, and then at least you have an even puff, and you can just rock it straight out of the shower. You know what I mean? But anyway, um, I just want to encourage you, don't be discouraged. Your own natural hair really says a lot more about you than any fake hair ever could. And believe me, I was the queen of weave. I could do a weave so well that beauticians didn't know it was a weave. I mastered weave. I mastered braids. I mastered twists. I mastered hair pieces, ponytails, puffs, any kind of fake hair. And so it's like this is the final destination for me. If I learn to manage my natural, unrelaxed hair, I will feel fulfilled. I will have completed the mission. <laughs> so master your own natural hair. You don't need fake hair. You don't need it. It's nice. It's a nice accessory. I loved it. I rocked it for years. But you don't need it. So now, ladies, let's do our natural thing. I'll try to encourage you. You got the tips to encourage me. If anybody knows how to get a finely, a very fine, teeny weeny curl to be defined, help a sister out. Because I would love to have my own natural hair pad, natural hair texture defined. But oh lord. But anyway, you stick to it. I'm gonna stick to it. We'll see each other through this. All right. Later.